in China, a dark new black market emerges for COVID medication. Uh, Chinese laboratories are raising the alarm over a new potential danger to family health amid a massive wave of COVID-19 infections, a growing trade in fake antiviral medication. China is experiencing a severe shortage of approved antivirals such as Paxlovid, manufactured by U.S. pharmaceutical giant Pfizer, which has opened the door to a thriving black market in for COVID medication in recent weeks. Boxes of Paxlovid are now selling for as much as five, uh, 15,000 yuan. On the black market, forcing many in China to see out cheaper alternatives. That is driving a surge in, in demand for generic version of the drug produced by Indian manufacturers. However, laboratory analysis indicates that a large amount of the India drugs circulating in China are fake though no evidence has yet emerged that the counterfeit drugs contain actually harmful ingredients as well say that represent a serious public health risk as the pills are ineffectively ineffective against the virus and could deny patients from receiving real Treatment. China's hospitals appear to have been ill prepared for the surge in demand for COVID 19 medication triggered by the end of the country's zero COVID policy in early December. China granted emergency approval to pass Novid in February 2022 and to Merkis' money new pyrovo last week. It is unclear how much of the drugs were imported, but by the end of December, hospitals in several major cities were reportedly experiencing inventory concentrates or even stockouts. The black market quickly moved to plug the gap. There was already a huge trade in cheap made in India medication in China before the pandemic. Some of Chinese cancer patients rely on illegal imports of generic drugs produced in India, as they are far more affordable than the approved drugs on sale in China. Now, importers appear to have pivoted to selling India COVID drugs on the Chinese emotional platform Turbo and JD.com. JD.com, at least for generic COVID drugs produced in India, Primo, Primovia, Paxista, Monument, Monument, and Monatris has been listed for sale in recent years. Primovia and Paxista are both generic version of Paxlovid, while the other two are generic version of Manipirovia, all four drugs appear to have been approved for emergency use by the Indian authorities, but are not legal for use in China. After Chinese media began reporting on the growing trade, Taobao and JD.com quickly moved to take down stores selling the drugs. However, others have managed to keep selling them using work rounds 
runs several users who have brought drugs via the platforms told us to. Some vendors post deliberately vegan listing advertising their ability to source a generic drugs, then connect with the buyers and arrange sales while the social app WeChat. The earliest warning that the counterfeit COVID drugs came from a blogger on the Chinese Q&A site Zhuhu, who writes under the username Tianzhu 10 years. On December 14, the blogger claimed to have uncovered evidence that fake Primavera was being sold in China. According to Tianzhu 10 years, the boss of Primavera, he had purchased listed an India company named S. Trico Healthcare as the manufacturer. But when he contacted the contacted the company's director while WhatsApp, he was told that uh, as Trico has stopped manufacturing the drug months ago. Months ago, Primavera stock finished. The director wrote, according to the screenshot of the call, were session pointed on Zhuhu. Now someone is making face. The Bonanger then said that he had tainted his Primovia pills using liquid chromatography, a technique used to identify the chemical components in mixture. The results indicate that the drugs contained no number three number three a crucial component that is used to inhibit that virus profitly formation in the body. He reported the test results to Jihu on December 21. The post is inspired a number of other buyers to send their black market COVID medication for testing at laboratories over the following days. Many produced similarly worried results. In her in year, the CEO of Chinese Genome Mix company BGI Group wrote in an article published on which in December 2031 that he had helped some friends test their medical medicine several samples, sold under the brand name. Primovia turned out to be the fake. The pills didn't contain number three, three, but uh, Osentamiva and uh, antiviral drugs used to be treat flu viruses instead. In the current situation where it is difficult to buy original drugs, one should be extremely careful when selecting COVID-19 January drugs in road, uh, adding that uh, his company was willing to help people test their generic drugs free of charge. Uh, in the days since, in has been posting updates on these tests of his feed on the microblogging platform Web. Uh, as of Friday afternoon, Ying's team has tested 115 samples of medication sent in by the public. Of 143 samples of Primovia, only one contained the material, the material. The other several samples were sold under different brands' names, and all of them contained and the material in the post went viral on Chinese social media and uh, triggered outrage among buyers, many of whom had spent thousands of yuan on packages of uh, Primovia. Uh, Shi Xing, a scientist based on in the northern city of Tianjin, suspects that she is the victim of the fake drugs trade. He bought a box of Primovia from a friend after being unable to acquire 
Pesnovit. My father is seventy-six year old. He lives now in in Magonia, Saint Shen. She who spoke with it using a pseudonym for privacy reasons. The medical resources there are in short supply. I worried about him not being able to get treatment in time if he caught COVID. She ran a test on her premium pills, and、uh, a friend's name would fail to detect、uh, the material. But she has decided to send. Samples to BGI BGI's lab as well, hoping that the company's more advanced equipment produces different results. Other buyers are forcing a thinking refund on the drugs they have bought so far. It appears that the vendors are often willing to give buyers their money back if they haven't taken any of the pills, according to. Faber says to Spavish, "A change a lawyer and the shortest United No form told us that the gamblers selling approved Indian generic drugs could be charged with serious criminal offense if the drugs are found to be counterfeit." However, China has softened its restrictions on imports. Of unapproved Indian medication in recent years, before 2019, anyone caught purchasing a drug approved for use in China could face tough punishment. But those penalties have since been scrapped. Yet, by reducing the legal risks for buyers, the policy change paved the way for unprecedented flows of India produced COVID drugs into China. Said He Xiaoming, CEO of Beijing Memorial Pharmaceutical, a Chinese firm that specialized in coordinating clinical trials between China and India, that huge illicit trade also brings risks. India is a powerhouse. In January, trust is the only country where we can source reliable and affordable COVID drugs with guaranteed the rapid therapeutic effects. He said, but the strong demand was used by illegal groups who produce counterfeit drugs. This will badly affect patients' treatment. So far. There have been no reports of COVID patients developing unwanted symptoms after taking Primovia, but medical experts and doctors have warned the public against taking generic drugs from unknown sources. Chinese authorities have been working to ease the Pesnovid shortage in recent days. Shanghai, Beijing, and Guangzhou reported reportedly started. Distributing the drug to communities hospitals in January, the central government authority authorized some online hospitals to prescribe Pesnovid a month earlier, with patients only needing to upload a photo of a positive antigen test to get a. Prescription, but patients say it's still hard to access the drug. These platforms are re re replay replenished with new inventory inventory every day. But the store is too small. A resident of Eastern City. Oh, Wenzhou, surnamed Jing, said, "I know someone who has been trying." From two weeks without success, Jing bought a box of Primo Vian on December fifteen,、uh, fifteen, and sent the drug to in for testing on January one. She received the result a day later. It was fake. Now Jing regrets waiting two weeks, believing she had already secured life saving drugs for her nineteen. Year old grandfather, I could have spent more time trying to order real 
Please note from the online hospital, Jinsand.